on this platform and I completely enjoy engaging with you. It's very, very serious times and I really want to engage with you on this very important topic. Let's, let's, let's first introduce ourselves. So I'm Ashley Ann Mott and I have been a journalist for basically six years. I've been sharing these uh, local stories on this platform for at least, I feel like I've been doing this for more than a year, even though it's on and off. Now that I'm in, and the reason I do it, by the way, is to help Jamaicans right across the world to finally understand and share their opinion on what is happening right here in the island. So as you come into the discussion, uh, please share your where, where you're connecting from. I'm connecting from Kingston, Jamaica. And this show is basically a conversation between you and I about what is happening in the island, right? So, if you're not chat to me, the show now go on for long, 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 okay? <laughs> um, as you come in, just tell me where you're connecting from. I'm pretty sure that you are seeing the reports, seeing the news reports, seeing the stories as to what is happening in Jamaica and the likely shutdown of the island, right? I know many of you are very concerned about it and we're going to go in depth with it. Welcome Marlette, she says, hello beautiful lady, nice to see you Edmonton, um, Alberta, Canada in the house, thank you for joining me, I see Xavier has joined, yay! <laughs>
want to share my thoughts with you and I want to hear what you have to say as well. But I'll read your comments live. There are several issues concerning the containment of this virus in Jamaica. And one of it is that Jamaicans are unable, I, I have to say, unable to practice social distancing. And it's reaching a state now where as a result of this, we have so many other persons infected with the virus being infected. Up to yesterday we've heard of a report where a two-year-old in St. James um, was confirmed to have COVID-19, which is very, very sad because I can just imagine as a child how you're going to try to grapple with all of those symptoms. It's so sad. Christopher Bird, thank you so much for joining. Too much wind blowing in your microphone. Oh, oh, okay. Let me make that quick adjustment so that you guys can hear me. If you're hearing me clearly, please let me know. Just a second. All right. So, I have my fun because, you know, weather is... It's getting hot in Jamaica. <laughs> so, hopefully, it's a little bit better, Christopher and others. Just let me know if you can hear me clearly. All right. So, Jera connecting from Texas. We have quite a few people here from Texas. I really appreciate you you guys joining me tonight and I see the numbers are jumping. Please go ahead and share the video. And we're talking about the likely shutdown of the island of Jamaica as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh Faith, thank you for giving me that information. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Jamaicans are finding it a little bit difficult to practice social distancing and I have been spending some time I know I usually come on here a little earlier than than usual earlier in the week to discuss the topics but I really wanted to get a further grip of, of, of the issues as to why it's so difficult for most Jamaicans to practice social distancing right here are the issues so first first issue which is blatantly clear as you can see on social media is that Jamaicans tend to be indisciplined right without a doubt we tend to be the indisciplined so even if we can ensure that we are abiding by the government's um, restrictions and policies we choose not to you understand and that for me is very problematic because if it gets to a case where the government is totally or the health um, department is totally unable to assist so many people who would be infected and get ill and need the medical assistance, then it's just going to be a very sad situation for us. So that's one thing for me. I think disobedience is one thing. We just feel as if we're supposed to be defiant and sometimes it's, it, it's not sometimes it don't make no sense it makes no sense to be defiant right now so that's one of the issues and i want to read your comments carmel says i live in foreign since 1972 but ja is my home okay i understand what you're saying so you want to come home you want to visit the country i understand joyce says it's difficult everywhere but we have to follow the government guidelines to save our lives this is the new normal this is oh this is a new normal in the uk this is real. That's what Joyce has to say. Marletti says, saying, I'm home now for one month, not working. I don't have a choice. I'm not sick, but better to be safe more than sorry. Anthony Salmon say, hi from the UK. Hi, Anthony. Um, Sharon says, why is it that every country have to abide by the rules? Um, I... And the reason that's pause there, Sharon, I want to understand why you're asking that question. Maxine says, hi from Gainesville, Florida. I have family. I have, um, I have friends in Gainesville. So, big up, big up, big up, big up, Maxine. She said, please, Jamaican, follow the rules. COVID is no joke. It's no joke. And we've seen cases. We've seen, New we've seen the stories of New York. We've seen the stories of Italy. We've seen the stories coming out of so many countries that are being affected by COVID-19, right? Christopher says Jamaicans are very indisciplined. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that there are a number of issues 
that have been magnified through this COVID-19 pandemic and that is presenting quite a challenge for Jamaicans. One of the main issues is that there are many Jamaicans who are living hand to mouth. There are many Jamaicans who are living hand to mouth. So literally, they're unable to, well, they find it harder to commit or abide by the rules of the, uh, of the government because they literally cannot afford to stay inside, right? The government has, um, for the St. Catherine, the lockdown in, in the parish of St. Catherine, the government has designated two shopping days, right? Two shopping days for the residents to go and just pick up the essentials. So he calls them the necessities or the essentials of life, which he believes to be, or what the government would classify to be, food and medication, right? And I am telling you, right as we've seen, um, yesterday there are so many people hi joy thanks for joining me there are so many people who said look here the government give me two days to go on the road and get some some food to stock up or some medication and i am out of a job so i can't even go outside and i can't even make use of that opp opportunity i am suffering during covid19 it is real and i know many people on social media media has been um, they have been chastising so many of the persons who, let me say, let me say, from the inner city, who aren't necessarily practicing social distancing, and it makes you wonder why is it so difficult. So that is one thing, right? Um, Sharon said, you said Jamaicans are finding it difficult. Yes, yes. Okay, so I understand your question now, Sharon. So you're saying, why is it? every country have to abide by the rules yeah we have to abide by the rules but we also as i was saying in my second point we also have to recognize that there are many jamaicans there are many issues within jamaica now, and because of those issues becoming unaddressed they are now magnified and they are becoming super issues now with covid19 if you agree with me you can you can share it out and if you don't please I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. Valny says, hi Valny, I feel like this is the first time you're watching my live. From Negril all the way to Port Antonio is in danger. The top of chain have everything stuck up. I want you to explain what you mean about the top of chain because one of the concerns is that so many people, not many, not many, let me say not, not so many people, but quite a few people on social me media have been chastising those who really just can't afford it and have to be breaking the rules just to ensure that they can provide meals for their family and there is an argument that rather than chastise me help me out now help me out there i i, I saw where somebody on on twitter said i sent home my household helper because i'm home so i can do the cleaning i can do the washing but i continue to pay her because she has a family to feed how many jamaicans have taken that step Many Jamaicans are now laid off from their job jobs and they're totally unable to cover their bills because as I said the major issue is that they are living from hand to mouth the money that they were making for for work from work isn't enough to suffice all their expenses so know that they aren't making any money you can just imagine how much that is has magnified I want to share your thoughts. Marlon says, I understand that it's hard. It's hard work, paycheck to paycheck, but you have to make the sacrifice. Sharon says, yes, I understand, but I see some people just idling, unfortunately. And I did raise that point. I did raise that point. There are many Jamaicans who are quite indisciplined, right? Without a doubt, there are many Jamaicans who are quite indisciplined. So we're at the position now where Jamaicans some Jamaicans are preparing for a lockdown because without a doubt if the government or, or health authority is unable to contain this virus in the country we have some serious issues to contend with serious issues we don't want to see the death toll rising we do not but I think we have to also address the underlying issues there are so many things that are being pushed aside right many jamaicans overseas are basically stranded overseas and their families 
who depend on them to continue and, and enjoy the necessities of life are unable they're unable to provide for their family because they're stranded overseas right and it's very frustrating for them and I can understand that there are many sacrifices but I also think that we have to consider consider why it is so difficult for Jamaicans to comply I want to hear your thoughts Paul says stay home <laughs> well the government the Prime Minister was very blunt in, in his in his remarks this week and he said look here Tanayayad we don't understand what it means to social distance to self quarantine Tanayayad I completely understand that and I've been saying that and I've been trying as best as possible to stay home but for some people that's just not the reality right um, so we're talking about that but I want to also address another um, story that continues to be shared and I want to hear your thoughts on it and it's the story of the ship workers who were abandoned well I don't want to say abandoned at sea but that's basically what everybody is saying abandoned at sea they're unable to return to the island because they did not re receive a reply to their request to um to dock in time from the government and they had to head out right I want to head out to a different port I want to hear your thoughts on it the government the Prime Minister himself came forward in his last press conference to say that look here we heard about this we 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 were made aware of these ship workers right we were made aware of these ship workers being unable to return um making a request to dock we considered all the factors and we said yes go ahead however on the part of the ship workers when the new when 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 the clearance from the from the prime minister and the the minister of national security came forward the ship was already has had already left i want to know your thoughts on the side of the ship workers they were they said the clearance request was made was made a day before so they got a response a day after they, they they were waiting. They waited for hours, they waited for hours. And I mean, realistically, I understand why they left, right? The government has said, look here, we didn't tell them to leave. We did not say, no, you can't come in. You, they just didn't get the response in time. What are your thoughts on it? I want to know your thoughts on this story because it continues to be um, it continues to develop, it continues to be a sore in this COVID-19 fight in Jamaica and I think and I think more and more Jamaicans are becoming disheartened by the development, right? Sharon says, what are the numbers of COVID-19 cases out here today? Well, as of today, I, I am, um, as of up to now, when I'm doing my live, I know of 143 confirmed cases in Jamaica. So that's the number right now, as of now, right? Um, Daytona said they abandoned them, right? There are many people who believe that the ship workers, the 40 out of them, they were abandoned at sea. Many of them have given stories to the media to say that other ship workers from different countries are on the ship and their, con their, their government sent ships or whatever for vessels for them to bring them home why did our government um leave them stranded that's their that's their perspective barbara says the ship did not give the government enough time to make the arrangement to do so right valley says it is so drifting on the sea barbara walter says I'm going to find it more difficult if they don't follow the rules where they have to go out and bungle in a line to buy food and do banking. Oh, you're talking about Jamaicans who find it hard to social distance. That's another question. I think that's an issue of, it, um, of, of literacy. Because I think if I completely understand or can comprehend what is being shared about social distancing, you'll be more obliged to comply. I think that's a matter of uh, indiscipline. The indiscipline and a matter of literacy. Bali says we can find an idle young man next day, but we disrespected our own. Interesting. Interesting perspective. So many people have been calling um, the move by the government to take so long to respond, right? Disrespect. 
Daytona said they were abandoned. I think, I think it's a very unfortunate situation because as with the situation with the Alarica, um worker who tested positive and then so many more cases come out of that call center, which I'm going to get to that shortly, it's very unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate. However, we have so many undetected cases in the country already and there are so many other Jamaicans that are basically stranded in other countries who have gone to probably work, gone to study, you understand, gone to visit and they are hoping to return to the island, right? I think at this stage, if we focus too much on the fact that maybe the government could have hasten their response uh, their, their process so that you know they, they'll be able to assist Jamaicans who are left stranded yeah that's a consideration however we also have to look at the fact that there are so many issues right now in the island that the government is contending with um, that we, we can't we can't we can't get ourselves distracted too much it's very unfortunate fortunate without a doubt I come understand that right but I also believe that we have to get to the bottom of this issue in Jamaica about the undetected cases right um, Bali says America bring Americans home we well uh, you left off I, well I'm not seeing any more of your comments Sharon says the people need to try and comply otherwise it will take many lives and we don't want that situation we really don't we really, really don't want that situation, Sharon. Marlette says, my heart goes out to all the ship, but everyone have to understand so many things is going on at the same time. There are so many things going on, right? And I, I really feel it for them because I, can, I know how it feels to not be at home. I have been away from home, working overseas. And I, I just miss, I just, especially in a crisis, you want there, you are. You want there with your family members. You understand? So I completely understand that. Okay, just before I wrap up the show, I want to get your perspective. Hands up, and I want you guys to use the emoji, right? Hands up if you think before there's a likely lockdown of the country, we should shut down the BPO sector. Hands up if you believe there are, there are cases, there are rumors that there are cases more cases within the BPO sector, right? I want to hear your thoughts. Should we say, guess what? If you're not working from home for these BPO business um, organizations, then we're going to ask you to shut down until we contain this virus. I want to hear, do you think the government make, should make that step? Karina says, Kareen says, I live in the US and wish wish you were home. I guess you mean wish I was home, right? I think that's why. Oh, I was home. I'm, I've seen the correction now. Yeah, that's the reality, Kareen. That is the reality. So many people wish they were in Jamaica right now. So many Jamaicans are living overseas who wish they could be home. Joyce gave me a thumbs up. She thinks the BPO sector should be closed down. I want to see if it's only... Joyce believes that the BPO sector should don't send me the likes please please put the comment please comment either the thumbs up or you can put up your hands or you can clasp your hands Marlette did the same thing as well Daytona says they knew that the other country would not accept well I think you want to say accept them just as all Jamaica would accept um, another country I don't think they I don't think they knew that. Um Valley says, Welcome to Jamra. Did we check the agents coming into Jamaica? Which agents? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, what's he talking about? Seriously. Tell me what's talking about, Valley. Sharon says it's not an essential place of work. The BPO. Um I was talking about the BPO sector now. Paul put up his hand, Carlet put up put Carmel put up her hand. Sharon said yes. All right. So here's here are my thoughts, and I'm going to do it very quickly because you know we'll be wrapping up pretty soon. I think I think right now Jamaica is going to get a hard hit 
economically from this COVID-19 pandemic and fatigue. The whole, the, the, the length, um, length of time that we spend trying to contain this virus, I think it's going to be telling as to how long it will take for us to recover. We are already feeling the economic pinch. And I think so many people, while so many people, and it hurts my heart that so many people um, are making huge sacrifices, while that is the case, I think it is time for us to make drastic measures. Take drastic measures. So if it means to tell them, say, look here, if you can make your workers work from home, then guess what? Guess what? I think you need to close your doors right it wasn't after we heard heard the announcement through the media about the cases well through the government about the cases that the company responded and i'm talking about the bpo um the bpo company alerca that from that company we had over 30 well 50 odd cases i think the government cannot play at this time I really think that they can do more for those people who are living hand to mouth without a doubt. Hands down, I believe that, right? A lot of people are suffering right now in whatever way. Not only the government, but as individuals, as Jamaicans, we can help people who live in, who really, really struggling right now. We should. But we need to, we need to take some drastic measures to contain this virus because, because we don't, we don't want to see a situation as Italy we do not want to see a situation as Italy I've heard people saying that China is on their on a good way in terms of recovery right and I would love for Jamaica to get to that place if you agree you can just send me some hearts right I really appreciate you guys sharing with me I see the numbers jumping I see that you're enjoying the conversation I see where it's steady as well right I really appreciate you guys sharing with me and if there is any topic that you'd want me to share in my next show um, and discuss please send me a message I'm on Facebook right um, you can check me out at Ashley and Mott I go live on Jamaicans.com Facebook page every week right every week so if there is a topic that you want me to earnestly discuss please send me a message right valley says contractor building roads and bridges i was on the island and see them doing road work more house more house wholesales check everyone it's very serious well that's a good i understand what you're saying now check the check the oh so the 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 reports that asians are responsible for sharing the virus i don't think that's the situation i think you just check everyone as you said check everyone what days do I go live? Good question. Any day. <laughs> Literally, any day. So, um, there isn't a specific day. So, my best bet, your, your best bet, is to turn on the post notification for Jamaicans.com so that you will always know when we go live. So, what you can do at the end of this, when I end this live, you can go ahead, those three little dots there, right? Just click the three little dots look for turn on post notification for this live and then you'll never miss one you will never ever miss one or when you see the notification come up you can also click the three dots and do the same thing right Sharon says what's the situation in Portland the last story I heard coming out of Portland is the death of a 63 year old woman which is very very sad you understand so that's all that I've heard from Portland I don't know if there was a specific issue you were talking about Sharon um, Thank you so much, Corinne. Thank you so much for joining. You said this is your first time. I really appreciate it. I love your feedback as well. Joy, bless up yourself. Thank you for the hearts. And continue to support Reason with Ashley. And we are growing. We are growing and we're getting stronger. And we'll continue to get stronger post COVID 19. We're going to get through it. Many people going through a lot right now who have lost their jobs. And I'm just telling you that we're going to get through it. We are going to get through it. I'm feeling the pinch as well, guys. But guess what? We are going to be stronger. Stronger, stronger. Paul, bless up yourself. Right? Very informative and interesting. Much love. Thank you, Corinne. All right. So this has been another episode of Reason with Ashley and Mawat. Fair you stay safe too. 
Barbara YouTube. All right, I will respond to every single comment right here. Well, I try to. I don't want to make a false promise. I'm not a politician. So, I am going to try as best as possible to respond to each. If I'm able to, sometimes I get a whole heap of comments. But you can always send me a direct message, um, Ashley and Mort, on Facebook, right? My page, my page, my page, my page. I don't check my profile as much as I check my page. So go over to my page and send me a message. Really love the love. Stay on jobacons.com for very interesting shows. And give me some suggestions as to topics to discuss next time I go live. Alright, another episode of Reason with Ashley and Mort. Take care. Good care of yourself.